and then while I've got that on the brush let's just look at the dress again I can perhaps just increase the highlights in just a couple of key areas by putting on this additional layer of white Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that to dry now and then we'll come back and have a look and see what needs doing to it. Well, looking at the painting, uh, I haven't been patient enough to let it fully dry. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure I want to do too much more to it. I need to do, I definitely need to do some more, but there's a certain freshness to the way it's painted at the moment. And although it's not sort of fully finished, if you like, in certain areas, I don't want to risk losing that freshness. So what I'm thinking of doing, my first step is I'm going to take some more of the Silurian Blue and some more of the Alizarin. And mix those two together to get a deep purple. But I want to go a little more towards the blue than I did for the dark purple I used earlier. Let's see if we can just get a little more blue in there. I'm not, I'm not too fast, but I just want to use that dark colour to add some of the darker shadows up here in the hair and again this isn't going to be correct in terms of the reference but I think or well, my hope is it's going to work reasonably well in terms of the painting so you know I haven't diluted the paint at all here and so I'm kind of just doing a little bit of dry brush over what I've done already in places and then you know if I want to get a more solid region of shadow I can obviously push harder with the brush a little bit of dry brush there in between the two regions of fairly solid shadow and then I want to continue that along down there and over on the right here a little bit more shadow there, a couple of licks there, a couple of touches there as well on the right hand side of the face and then um, let me just adjust my reference a little bit here, I just want to zoom in a touch. Um, so then uh, here as well, just darken, you know, not, not the whole area but you know, key key parts of it and then let's see where we are so let's uh, get a little bit of the mix that in with the tinting white a bit a little bit more of the alizarin Touch of the yellow. Just darken some little bits of the brows here and there. And having done that, I've just mixed that colour I had into the purple that I was using a moment ago. And I just want to bring a little bit of this darkness, just a touch down here. Just a little bit dry brushed on to, to hint at the texture of the hair. And then clean my brush again, grab some more of the tinting white mixed in with the yellow. Get a bit more yellow on the brush.
just want to soften the edges of some of those dark areas that I've put in. And then I need to deal with these earrings in a bit more uh, detail. And to do that, now obviously I don't want to you know, go into a huge depiction of the earrings, but uh, I just need to make them stand out a little bit more than they are. Now the base colour that I already have for the earrings actually isn't too far off, so I've just grabbed some of the tinting white and I'm going to put that down fairly impasto style, you know, so a very thick layer of paint to, you know, increase the opacity of the, the white I'm putting down so that they're sort of hinting at some sparkly highlights on the earrings. And then my plan was to use titanium white for the final highlights in the eyes, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to try the same trick with the with the tinting white now that I've seen that I can do that. So let's um let's see if I can get this to work. So I need to put a highlight here. That's perhaps a little small. That's better. And then one in a similar spot on this eye. And then I'm just going to pick up the merest touch of blue. Oh, I've got yellow on my brush. Just give me a second. So I've put just the slightest touch of blue in with the tinted white. I'm going to use that just to put a couple of hopefully fairly subtle highlights on the nose there, on the cheek, and just look at you know, all over the face really, and just see where these are occurring. Without going, you know, too... Certainly don't want to overdo it. But it's just, hopefully just enough to lift the lighting a little bit so that... Um, You really feel that light is playing across the surface. And then I just need to do a touch for the necklace. So I've just loaded my brush with the tinting white and I think, well, we'll see how well this works. Put a line across there. Perhaps a little highlight there. And I just want to tweak that part of the hair, I think. So let's, let's go back in with the pale yellow, just taking the same white I had on the brush and mixing it in with the yellow. Just kind of soften some of this area a little bit. So here's a look at the finished painting and uh, overall I like the effect that switching from ultramarine blue to the silurian blue has had. It was really quite you know a new experience for me to mix up my colors from that new set of primaries. The main challenge I had was you know going dark enough so when I would mix up a really dark color in the past I would usually base that on ultramarine blue and the alizarin crimson. But what I'm thinking now going forward is I like this combination of colours and you know if I was going to really lock in the, the likeness of this portrait I would need to do some more work on the eyes and, and the mouth in particular but I like the freshness of the feeling of this painting the way the brushwork's gone the paint's gone down and the style of the brushwork 
So my thinking now is I'm going to continue with the tinting white next week, but I'm going to change one of the colours again. I'll stick with the Silurian Blue, but I'll change one of the other colours on my palette to give me a new colour mixing experience, and then we'll see how that goes. Either way, hope you enjoyed this demo. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.